welcome to Elite Personal Fit. Today we're gonna to go through a portable routine that you can take with you anywhere. So you can do it at work over lunch, obviously you can do it at home, but it's great for like a hotel room or if you wanna do something outside even. So all you need for today's routine is really a towel, optional tubing. So we're gonna show some tubing options and tubing's great, right? Because you can take it with you if you're walking, if you're at the park, if you're traveling for business or vacation. So a neat tool to have. Uh, and then maybe an optional park bench or chair, but I think most people don't even need that. So uh, let me throw the first circuit up here. And by the way, my name is Jim. This is Logan. Logan's gonna do the workout and I'll kind of talk us through, all right? Our first circuit, guys, and this is not designed to be a very long workout. So this is designed to do something that you could do portable like over lunch or on vacation uh, or in your hotel room for business. So first circuit's on the screen. Uh, we're gonna do a suitcase crunch. We're gonna do a cross plank push-up. It will show you all these in real time. And then we're gonna do a line pull down. With this line pull down, you have a couple options. I will show a towel option where you lay on the stomach when we get there. You can also use tubing for that. So uh, have your stuff ready. And uh, guys, also, if you wanna put a towel down on the floor uh, for these crunches, that might be a little more comfortable. So I think I will throw, oh man, we got that poke over here. Look, I'm gonna put a mat down here for okay. you. Okay, sounds good. Pull up for, for the dog. Yeah, the dog's gonna lay on the mat. All right, so guys, here we go. We're gonna start with a suitcase crunch, and we're going about 15 to 20, Logan. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, this is an added challenge. Right, right. My abs are already engaged. Absolutely. <laughs> Because if you haven't done these before, very effective exercise. Just a couple things I want to point out. One, uh, when Logan brings his legs up, so Logan, I'm bringing your legs up here. Um, watch your lower back. You don't need to come all the way down to the bottom. I know that a lot of videos show this full range and talk about full range. Guys, you're trying to hit the core. You don't need to go all the way down there, especially if you have back issues, all right? Hands are gonna extend out over the head. Now, what Logan's gonna do is he's gonna roll the shoulder blades up and he's gonna reach up towards the feet and then it'll come down. The head and shoulders go all the way down. Legs stay about 45 degrees, maybe 30 degree angle. I'm gonna stop right about there. Good. 15 to 20, Logan. Guys, I want you to exhale as you come up so you can blow the air out of the abdominal cavity. Get a better muscular contraction in the core. Nice job. <laughs> it gets him, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so our next one, let me set the puppy over here. All right, the next one is a cross plank push up. So we just kind of work through the midline with the core. The next one, we're going to drive the knee across the body each way and then do a push up. So this is going to hit a little more of those rotational muscles with the obliques. All right, so lovely, a cross plank push ups. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, go, go. Go, go. Come on, baby. You're a good I'm a good boy. Come on. Oh boy. Good. Guys, this could also be done on a chair. If you have a hard time moving the floor for whatever reason, you could also do a push up from your knees. Okay, so a couple different options here. Great job, Logan. Go, go. <laughs> All right. Nice work, Logan. Around 10 here, guys, and listen, I know push ups vary quite a bit from person to person, but that's a good goal. If you're going to do more, of course, you're going to do more. Logan, great job. And I'll tell you what, we can stay right here. I'll spin this around. Uh, guys, our next one is this line pull down. So you're going to, almost like you're sitting at a pull down station, so elbows are driving, but you're going to lay on the floor. So in this prone position, driving the elbows down the body and try to crunch the lats. Again, we can use a towel. I'll show you that on a little video clip. Uh, or in our case, we're gonna use tubing. Okay, so 
If you're going to use the tubing option, just make sure that you anchor it to something solid. You know, a, a real heavy table, a, a couch, something that's not going to come towards you as you pull with the tubing. All right. So I'm just going to wrap this around a couple times, and then. <clears throat> stomach, we'll grab those, we're just going to be able to I'm trying to crunch the, the lats, all right? <clears throat> so if we watch Logan here, he's going to grab those, and uh, we have a little bit of tension on there. If you have the towel, you're going to be pulling apart slightly. With the tubing, you're just going to drive down, and he's going to really work on the lats right in the back. Nice, Logan. That's it. Good. Guys, chest just slide off the ground. You're not trying to get as high as you can. Just chest slide off the ground. Just driving those elbows. Around 10 to 15 of these. Okay, you should feel a crunch in the, in the lats, in the outside of the back. Great job, man. Great job, Luke. Hey, guys, that was one round through, so a small circuit. We want to get one more through before we move on. <coughs> so we're going to go back to that suitcase crunch, Logan, all right? All right. Oops. <clears throat> and guys, obviously, you know, with this workout, if you need more time between exercises, take a little more time. If you decrease the time, if you're, if you're able, that just makes the intensity go up. So you can kind of make this workout a little harder, a little easier, just by your rest between exercises and and your reps, I try to give a little rep range here on a lot of these, all right? So Logan, when you're ready, we will get our second set. All right. Great job. Logan, great job. Guys, for his legs, he's not going too deep, he's not gonna stress that lower back. He's also doing a great job of exhaling as he comes up to the top. Good, good. All right. So now we're back to the push-ups. And what I want you to think about with these knee drives is really try to get that core to engage. So we're very intentional with that knee drive. So cross, cross, then our push-up. <clears throat> See Logan do these push-ups, guys. Don't flow the elbows out super wide. He's got his elbows in a little bit. That's gonna take pressure off the shoulder. Shouldn't feel a little more comfortable for you. Get a better contraction in the chest. Okay. Logan, nice. Arms are not. It's, it's been a bit. It's been a little bit for sure. Nice. Great job, Logan. Good work, good work, Logan. Good job. Now catch your breath, Logan, for a minute here. The next exercise, guys, as you can see, we're going next to those pull downs, all right? So focus on the back, so kind of a push and then a pull. <clears throat> so again on this one guys don't come up too high you just want to get the chest off off the floor a little bit 
and then the hands almost just sweep they hover right above the ground and you're just trying to crunch those elbows into the side so you can feel the back tighten up Made it through Ooh, first first circuit guys is done all right? all right so let me throw the second circuit up on the screen this one it, 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 it's a little larger a uh, few more exercises but again this is designed to be a very efficient workout that you could do on the go if you needed to okay uh, we're gonna start off with a curtsy lunge squat Logan so uh, guys if you're not familiar with the curtsy lunge we're just gonna do a slight crossover I think we need this map for So guys, this curtsy lunge that, that, that Logan will be doing in just a minute, we're gonna combine a lunge with a squat. So we almost have this hinge or this pivot leg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna cross over slightly, get our lunge in, come up to a squat, and then squat. Okay, so curtsy lunge, squat. We're gonna get 10 reps. It doesn't sound like much, but you'll feel it. And then we'll switch sides, okay? Hit the other side for 10. Um, and then we'll talk about these exercises one at a time as we get to them, all right? Okay, how's the wind, buddy? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Guys, the leg that's moving, so uh, if it's your right leg that's traveling, your right arm will come forward. So the right leg goes back, right arm comes forward. Okay. I'll get out of your way, Logan. Good. We're going to get to a squat. And we'll just repeat the same side. Perfect, Logan. And guys, what I do is I, I count on the squat, so this will be. Three out of ten. Good. Great job, Logan. Good work. All right, man. Shake them out, guys. I don't have to match reps on, on the other side. <clears throat> Guys, be aware of your stationary leg, okay? If you watch Logan, he's not going so far wide that his knee is shifting over. He's trying to keep that pretty much straight up and down. We want to reduce stress on that joint as best we can. So we're trying to keep pretty much a right angle with that and not let it drift over or put extra torque on the knee. Nice job, Logan. Great job, man, great job. Okay, guys. Next exercise, we're gonna do we're gonna do like an isometric movement here with a front raise. So we're gonna do a a wall set, and we're gonna take a narrow stance. And I like that because it's gonna force more outside of the legs to work uh, rather than like with lunges and a lot of squats. Why the the medial kind of takes over the inside. So we're we'll trying to get a little more of the outside legs. So we're gonna sit down, try to get as close to parallel as you can. We're gonna use a towel and we're just gonna raise up. So we kind of get this shoulder rotation but we're gonna kinda of do this frontal raise. So you're gonna kinda of work the deltoids while you work those legs in your wall set, all right? Uh, so, we'll grab a towel and we'll roll it up a little bit. You don't have to go real wide on this and you can roll it to your comfort level too. So sometimes those big beach towels get really, really thick, but there's our towel rolled up. Logan, I'll give you that. And I don't know, Logan, if you want to go against the wall or try to post here. Uh, you try to post. Okay, okay. So, guys, I would encourage you. I know for video purposes, a lot of times you just post. Wall's a lot safer. If you've got a wall, use a wall. Okay, I think most people have a wall they can use. So, what we're going to do is Logan's going to step out and try to get almost like a right angle from his ankle, knee to hip. Okay? So, we'll get in that position, and Logan's just going to come up and down. And we're getting about 10 of these. Logan, that's perfect. So we're just gonna reach up, almost hit the wall behind you. One, two, that's a great pace. Around 10, three, 
four, nice job, five, good, slow deep breaths, I think that's already seven, Logan, yep. good job, man, there's eight, nine, awesome, awesome, awesome job, they'll get the legs a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so guys, our next exercise, uh, we're going to do we're gonna work your back. We're gonna do a warm row, okay? And there are a couple of ways you can do this at home. I'll show a video clip where you can use the, uh, a doorway. I know this is a post where you can grab a doorway, find a comfortable spot in the molding, and you can do these rows in a doorway. Uh, you can also, if you have luggage, if you're traveling, you can use some luggage and pull the luggage up, okay? We are gonna use something very similar to that. We're gonna show an optional tubing, okay? So. Remember, if you don't have two, no big deal. You can just go to a doorway and do the row, and I will show you that on a clip. Logan, we're gonna take our tubing, and guys, all we're gonna do is you're gonna lay your tubing down on the floor, and you're just gonna step, and as you make it shorter, it'll get more and more challenging. So you can kind of kind of play with the depth a little bit, the length of the tubing, and all we're gonna do is kind of pull towards the hip and down. So we're hitting that back, okay? All right. Around 15 reps here. That's it, that's great, Logan. And we're gonna work those lats in, kinda like the line pull down. Okay, we're now working one side at a time. Nice. Good job, Logan. Uh, so, yep, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. So, opposite foot of the hand holding the tubing, if you're doing this, guys, and your hand is almost like a hook here, guys. So, don't over tighten. Drive the elbow up, and you're kind of pulling towards that hip to really get that lat. Nice, Logan. There you go, because it's easy to adjust. You just move your foot a little bit. Good. Just like you're sawing a log, buddy. Good job. All right. Uh, the next one. Guys, we have a tricep extension. And guys, this one is really effective. You can really feel the triceps working here. We're going to go against the wall. I think we're going to use just the post, all right? Hands, guys, you're going to have them slightly above the head, all right? Your feet, as you get further and further back, it's going to get more and more challenging. You can also adjust your hands a little bit as you adjust your feet. So we're here, and all we're going to do is we're going to let the elbows bend and then push yourself back. So it's, in essence, you're doing like a tricep extension, just standing rather than laying back on a bench, okay? Are we holding up, man? Yeah. You okay? You're good. All right, yeah. Logan. Good. Good. I'll get out of your way. Okay, so again, emphasizing the back of the arm. We're trying to hit that triceps. Good. Excellent, Logan. And you see how easy that is? If you back up a little bit, make it a little more challenging. You can also adjust your hands if you need to, and you just want to really get to the point where you're really isolating the back of the arms. That's what we want to be thinking about as you're doing this move. Nice job, nice job. Okay, Logan, it looks like we have your favorite exercise next. Right? Woo! Yeah. Guys, we have squat jumps next. And um, I, I know that jumps don't work for everybody. So if you have a difficult time jumping, what you can do is you can just kind of get your squat and then come up, maybe roll up on the balls of the feet and come back down, so avoid the jump. If you're going to the jumping option, make sure it lands soft. I see a lot of people jump up and land really firm and just kind of, kind of, sh kind of puts a shock wave through the whole body. Try to land soft so it's nice and fluid, all right? Uh, Logan, around 15, all right? Okay. We doing okay, buddy? Yeah. All right. Good. Here we go. Landing soft, guys. Bring your arms up. Hey, sometimes ceiling height isn't very tall, so I don't encourage you to jump up with your hands and all of a sudden your fingers are in the ceiling. Okay, so 
we're going to drop the hands as you jump and come down. Okay? It'll make the jump a little harder too, which I know you're they're thrilled about, Logan. Yeah. All right, here we go. Kind of a wide stance. We'll bring the hands up as you squat down. And we'll drop me as you jump. One. Good, Logan. We got through that one one time. Yeah. All we gotta do is get one more round, all right? right. So as we do each exercise, we're one step closer to being done. So, hey, get a drink if you need it, okay? We're gonna go back to our curtsy lunge squat in just a second here. I love Logan's water bottle. Look at this thing. That's like a mega big goal. Yep. <laughs> Good little tour body workout. So now we're hit those legs when you're ready, Logan. All right. Ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Our focus, guys, on this exercise is, is in this case, Logan's left leg, the front leg you focus on. So you drive up, plant, then squat, and then your back. Drive up that front leg, trying to push off the back. All right? And you can really feel. I think that pivot leg doing all kinds of work here. Nice, Logan. Whew, legs are getting tired. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Woo. that one looks so easy. It, guys, it is not. Obviously, if you're doing this workout with us, you, those are that's a tough exercise. <clears throat> Right leg doing the work, or most of the work. Good, Logan. the big one off the board right yeah. that, that, that that's tough getting one side then the other guys take a few deep breaths and probably come down just a little bit the next one is the wall sit in the front race right I'll grab the towel here Just about, about 10 of these. Obviously, guys, we get fatigued at eight. I mean, it's just a rough number here. Here we go. Great job, Logan. Good form. And Logan's doing a great job. I know it's hard to tell. Keep the back really flat. So keep that back flat against the wall. And just try to think about the shoulders as you know, because you're going to feel those legs. Wakes those legs up a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh. We're moving the back next, so we have 
Four number O's. Remember, several different options here from luggage to doorway to tubing. All right. How would you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So four number O's around 15 on each side. All right. Remember, uh, opposite foot holding tubing of the hand. All right. So the hand holding the tubing, opposite foot. Get the same side foot back up out of the way. And guys, it's it's almost like we're sawing a log. You're just driving Ugh. to the hip and back. Or some people, some people say start the lawnmower. Good. Just think of your hand like a hook, though. All right? Don't over tighten. Good job. Good job. Man, we are getting there, buddy. Yeah. Two more exercises, Logan. That's it. All right. Guys, we have a wall tricep extension. And again, make that challenging because you, you you can you can stay real close and make it easy, but try to challenge those muscles a little bit. Okay, so really make those 15 reps, make them burn at the end here. Okay. So Logan, we got. 15. You're doing great, Let's do it. man. So, in our minds, guys, if you're not sure what the triceps are, right here, kind of the back of the arm, it's the larger muscle of the arm, it's in the back. Um, and we're trying to push ourselves away from the wall, or the post in this case, and contract the back of the arm. Logan's doing a really good job of getting that mind to muscle connection going and tightening that muscle every time. Just like if you're at a push down machine, okay? Or doing tricep extensions with dumbbells or a bar. <clears throat> Excellent. Get that oxygen moving. A couple slow, deep breaths here. Okay, the good news is <laughs> let's right, last one, on, buddy. Yes. Ooh, all right. Oh, all right. He's ready to get over with. Guys, right. we have 15 squat jumps. All right. Remember to land soft. And if, again, as we mentioned first round, if jumping is tough, you can always use them turn them. We're open the balls to the feet. Just do slow body weight squats. Alright? <clears throat> Good, Logan. Take a seat, buddy. Good job, man. Whoo! Hey, that was our total body routine. And guys, this is great because we talked about the intro. This is such a portable workout. You can take this with you on vacation, business trips. So, guys, you can work out at home, the office, outside at a park, guys, anywhere. All you need is a towel and some tubing. And tubing is optional. So, just your body weight in the towel, maybe a chair, get a great workout anywhere, any fitness level, work out any time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that routine. This is Elite Fitness and we're bringing wellness to you.